Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I'm running on like three hours of sleep there. I'm uh, a little fucking tired there. Gonna be watching SmackDown to see Daniel Bryan cutting the promo or whatever should be fun there. Um, is the rest of the show gonna suck? I don't know. I'll watch the Bryan shit at least and go to sleep or whatever. Um, watched Raw last night for the first time in a while that I watched the full show. Um, then I couldn't fucking fall asleep. Usually I fall asleep like this during Raw last night. I was up till like 2 in the morning. Couldn't fucking sleep. I don't know why there. Um, some of them quick Raw tots or whatever. Uh, made a video about Brock Lesnar last night beating the shit out of Roman Reigns. Once again, it was a, a darn good segment. Just the way you know Roman with the handcuffs and Brock coming out. Beating the living fucking shit out of him there. It's fake or whatever there, but it was good, Doug. Roman getting his ass kicked. And Daniel Bryan coming back there, Roman, getting beat down, Daniel Bryan. Holy shit! I'm on the high, ladies and gentlemen, the wrestling high, fuck. WrestleMania season, full effect. It's official now, bitches. But um, I enjoyed the segment very much. There's some old school badass wrestling with Brock Lesnar. You know, it's... It sucks if Lesnar does leave because we're going to be losing that. They're a big star, a big giant destroyer, you know. A legit guy that can make the shit look and feel real, you know what I mean. If he's gone, then, you know, that's a lot of star power leaving the company. But they'll manage, I guess, might not get as big pay-per-view buys without Lesnar there but time will tell I guess Roman Reigns is gonna get bigger numbers than Lesnar <laughs> but um I watched the John Cena promo about the Undertaker he wanted an answer the Undertaker didn't answer him honestly this was Pretty fucking cringy, this promo there. Last week, some people didn't like it. I heard Edge didn't like the promo, shit like this. A lot of people were complaining. I thought this week it was just cringe-worthy there, the way he was acting and, you know... Oh, The Undertaker didn't answer me. This is a disrespect to every fan. <laughs> like, give me a fucking break there. The fans worship Taker. You know what I'm saying? Legit respect for Taker. If you're a wrestling fan who doesn't respect Taker, then, you know, I don't want to say you're not a real wrestling fan, but... God dang it, if you don't like Taker, you're not a real wrestling fan there. And, um, you know, the way Cena's like, oh, I didn't get an answer. Uh, you disappointed every fan here, blah, blah, blah. And then Kane comes out <laughs> for some reason. Kane, again, with this Kane shit. And um, Cena, well, what's the answer? Is it yes or is it? Shut the fuck down, retard. Shut the fuck up there. At least Kane did something good this week. Shutting up that, that terrible promo. Um, the, the shit with Matt Hardy. Ultimate deletion. Poison Ali. I thought it was pretty darn good. There I... I saw a few people complaining, I don't know, but overall it looked like it got a positive reaction from the fans overall or whatever. I thought it was pretty good. Senor Benjamin and uh, 
Brother Nero at the end, that was cool. Jeff Hardy with the eye shit and it looked a bit more uh, fancy than TNA's version, you know, like the camera shit. Like TNA, it was very low budget and campy, which made it what it was, you know. WWE, it was still campy and shit, but it looked a bit better, the production. Not that it was a bad thing, it still looked like the same kind of shit, just the production was a bit better, you know what I mean? But it still felt like final deletion, shit like this from TNA. I thought it was well done, entertaining. Hopefully they do more, they might do more with special guests like the Rock and Roll Express <laughs> like in TNA and shit like this, you know. Hopefully they, they do more of that because I thought it was pretty good. Um, you had a couple of women matches there, Asuka and Alexa Bliss and the count out. Uh, some boring women's tag, a couple of tag matches with guys, uh, just filler shit like this, a lot of it there, but the women shit kind of killed the momentum of the show a little bit, you know, but overall I thought the show was decent, some good big segments with Ultimate deletion at the end, I thought it, the show was decent overall, you know. I'm gonna watch SmackDown, watch me that Daniel Bryan there, and uh, gonna have a good time, dog. Daniel Bryan, back in the motherfucking his house. Until next time, peace out.